Hey, what's going on? My name's Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. On this episode of Outside the Softbox, we're gonna take a look at how I shot this image in studio with the Panasonic Lumix G9. My goal for this shoot was to create a unique image that had depth not only with the wardrobe and makeup, but also the scene we were shooting in. What better way to create a unique image than to build the whole set from scratch? Sort of. I knew I wanted to shoot with a lot of black and white and a pop of color, so I decided to create a checkerboard background with a couple of V-flat world foldable V-flats to give the background the contrast I wanted. One really big part of my pre-production process is to build my light setups ahead of time in a program called Setalight 3D. This is a really amazing program that allows you to construct 3D diagrams on your computer and test out different lighting setups without having to use any gear or rent a studio out for a test shoot. Once I created a lighting setup that I was happy with, I was able to share that with my model and then make minimal adjustments on set. Once we dialed in the look we were going for, it was time to start setting up. I wanted to make sure the entire scene was evenly lit, so I took a 60 inch Octobox and a Pulsy Buff DigiB and placed it about 10 feet from the background angled slightly down. My key light was another DigiB with a seven inch reflector and a 20 degree grid to camera right, just to illuminate my model's face. When I'm shooting portraits, I almost always use the 42.5 millimeter f1.2 Noctochron lens because in my opinion, the 85 millimeter equivalent is the best focal length for portraits. Now that I have my light set up, my lens picked out and I was tethering into my computer, it was time to start shooting. One thing that I noticed almost immediately was with the vertical and horizontal lines on the background, when my model was standing up straight, the impact of the background was lost. To fix this, we decided that my model should lean at about a 45 degree angle just to add another line of interest to the image. To make things a little bit easier for her and to fill in some negative space in the bottom right corner of the image, we added a stool so she could lean on it, which actually just accentuated the 45 degree lines. And here's the final image we came up with. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media. And remember, don't be afraid to think outside the softbox.